Alrighty, morning everyone! So, hello and welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on another beautiful day. Today, I actually went to a dumpster that I found some stuff in before because, well, I was in the general area and I usually don't really come by this dumpster a lot and I found some more stuff! Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? Yeah! I usually never find stuff in dumpsters, so I'm always very excited when I do. So, we are gonna scrap this stuff today, see how much this uh, might be worth, how much metals, we, how many metals we can, how, how much, how many, how, how, uh, dang. We'll figure out the amount of metals we get out of this, let's just put it that way. And then, yeah, I, I really hope that we are gonna get quite a bit of, of copper, maybe some brass, and definitely some aluminum, we can see that right there. And so, yeah, I think that's gonna be really, really, really cool, and I'm really excited for this. Because, as I said, I don't really find stuff that often, so that's really cool. We're gonna get right into scrapping this, and, well, it's kind of straightforward. We have to uh, loosen this stuff a little bit up so that we can strip the wire. And we're probably gonna use a knife because, you know, I don't have a good wire stripper. And then we're gonna just figure out what to do with whatever this is. Does anyone of you know what this is? What this is? Because, I, I don't know, it, it looks interesting, it's definitely cast aluminum and has some brass pieces on it, but I, I've never seen something like that. So, that's interesting, but uh, we're gonna scrap that today and see how much we can get out of that. And so, yeah, I would say we'll get right into that, so let's get into time-lapse. Alrighty people, we've run into an issue. So, the knife that I've been using, this one, the very rusty one, which is actually the perfect knife to use for this kind of job, it doesn't work anymore. I don't know what's happened with it, whether or not its battery is empty or it needs some, needs some care, whatever, I don't know, but it stopped working. I can't strip any wire anymore with that, I, I just don't know why, maybe I'm just not capable of doing so, but that doesn't really make any sense because I could do that before, so... Yeah, that's a thing, apparently. So, we're gonna have to switch tactics a little bit, and I'm gonna use this homemade wire stripper thingamadooda uh, that I made a couple of episodes ago, and we'll see if that works. And if it doesn't, well, I guess then I'm gonna have to come up with something else, because this thing doesn't work anymore. So, yeah, if anyone has any suggestions why a knife would just randomly stop working, be sure to let them, to put them in the comments or something like that, so, yeah, that's, that's fun. Okay. So I'm gonna stop complaining now and get on with it and see if we can hopefully strip some other stuff. Uh, the, ignore this, I just kinda wanted to figure out was what, what was going wrong with the knife and uh, couldn't strip this as well, so... Yeah, beautiful! So we're gonna get on with it now and hope that we're gonna get on a little bit better. Yeah, so here we go! Thank you. 
So, um, <laughs> that, that didn't work either. Awesome. Uh, I, I basically just kind of, yeah, I mean, this thing is not the greatest stripping device in the world. I mean, I guess that's kind of obvious. But I thought it would maybe work if I put some, like, bigger wire into it and try to pull on it. So I tried to pull on it with, uh, like, this thing. And as you saw in the video, it just ripped it off. Which isn't really what you want if you want to strip the wire through this thing. So I got this little pair of pliers and I actually found that in the trash. So we'll see if that works now. And we'll try to strip some... yeah, you know. Here we go. Okay, so now we've got this. Am I happy with that? Well, that kind of depends on your perspective on it. I am pretty sure that there is an old saying that goes similar to this. Be happy with the stuff you get. And I'm gonna be happy with the stuff I... 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 I well, y you know what I mean. Happy with the stuff I got from, from this dumpster. So, uh, I, guess, I guess that's good as well, probably. Uh, maybe not. Uh, anyways... Let's look at the bright side of things, right? I had some fun. You probably didn't because you were just forced to watch someone fail miserably at doing something that he's actually pretty good at. So that probably wasn't fun, but it was kind of fun for me. Why was it fun for me? Well, I don't know. I guess I'm weird. But we've got some cast aluminum here. That's probably like... 200 grams, probably about that. Um, there are some little iron parts in here that I can't really take out because they are... Well, just very oddly attached here. I don't really know why. But, you know, that's that's a thing, apparently. This whole construction was very interesting. But anyways, uh, this was a little piece of wire that I wasn't able to strip because it's so small that it doesn't fit in my homemade wire stripping thingy. So, that's something. Number one wire, anyways. So, and uh, then we've got some copper. We've got some tin-plated copper and some, uh, some, some nice milberry copper or probably candy or whatever... Whatever part of the world you're in, it's not really Milbury because it's less than one millimeter thick. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter, okay? I'm gonna melt it down anyway, so it doesn't really matter what it is. But that's a nice little pile of copper, and uh, considering that it was trash before and it's now just copper, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Not sure whether or not that's, like, you know, justified, but uh, anyways. So, we've got some more brass over here. These are just like the little brass screws and thingamadoodas that were on the little aluminum thing, and this was on one of the and so the wire, so that's something. I think old brass kind of looks really cool. It develops a really cool pattern over the years. And so, yeah, we've got these now. I might even be able to use them for something at some point. Well, obviously not this thing, but like these two. And so, yeah, I'm going to keep those. And I'm going to see how I'm probably not going to be able to use them for anything and then just inherit them to someone that inherits my stuff at some point. So, yeah, this person's probably going to be happy about two useless screws. Anyways, we are going to wrap this up today. It wasn't very successful, but, you know, I was already very happy that I found all of that stuff, so it's not really that bad. I had some fun. You probably didn't, but, yeah, anyways, uh, please rate the video anyways and um, comment anything you might want to comment. I'd be very happy to hear about that, and I will read all those comments and answer all those comments. You know the drill. And um, please also, like, uh, subscribe if you want to, to the channel. That will make me very, very happy. But you don't have to, because uh, it's 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 free, and, you, you know, you can watch the videos anyway, so... Matter of fact, why would you subscribe? But anyways, let's not get into that too deeply. I wish you a fantastic week. Thank you so, so much for watching, and until next time.